Well, hello out there, and welcome to the millions and millions of people listening to this. Well, maybe one or two, anyway. Now, I've already talked about the old court case between Johnny Depp and Amber Turd, so I won't go into it too deeply here, because it was a bit of a circus, wasn't it, really? But Johnny Depp was suing Amber Turd for defamation of character. I mean, what a brave man. And I've heard some talk that they're going to remove Amber Turd from Aquaman 2 as they removed Johnny Depp from Fantastic Beasts just on hearsay alone of no proof at all. But now Johnny Depp has proven his case of defamation of character from his ex-wife Amber Turd. They should remove her. But you know, if you think about it, and just the men that I know have got divorced could sue their wives for defamation of character because of things they said in court or put in their affidavit. And I bet you if you think about some of the men you know who were slandered in court and the lies that were said about him, they also would have a case as well. Of course, most of us don't have the big money that you'll need it to do that. But if we did, we would win, wouldn't we guys? Because that's the gameplay of the Femon, isn't it? To play the victim, to lie and over-exaggerate how bad the man really was. Even though they were with him for ten years, but he was bad all the time. In fact, they paint him like a monster. And don't tell me the courts don't know that she's lying all about it. And they just let it slide. Because it's a business. Because they make money and so does the government. The only person that doesn't make money and loses out is the man. It's been a scam that's been going on for many years. And I bet you there's a guy listening to this right now who went through exactly that. Character assassination in court. Of course, for you young men, the way the laws are, don't get married. To be quite honest, I'm very surprised that Johnny Depp actually won. Strictly speaking, the court screwed up. Because generally in divorce proceedings, they don't have to prove anything at all. The femon, that is. They just have to insinuate. There's no pictures, there's no recordings. It's just her word, really. But the worst thing that a man feels in divorce court is the betrayal of the partner he was sharing his life with. And it takes a long while for a man to get over something like that. Femons are off running straight away. Just remember, the sun is very nice. It's very warm. But if you get too close, you'll burn yourself to a crisp. Take it easy, people.